Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi and today we are going to the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul one of the biggest and definitely the busiest market markets in the world in London I love the small cute markets but I'm not quite sure if I'm ready for this authentic experience because this place has more than 4,000 stalls and you can literally spend the whole day in here because there are like 35 streets all around. Oh, hi everybody. Yeah, we, we just got some cash because this is definitely a cash-based cash based society. Here we are entering the Grand Bazaar, which is basically a tiny city on its own because it has its own mosque, post office, restaurants, banks, police station and any sort of food that you could ever imagine. Oh, and by the way, the Turkish coffee, it is actually made in one of these things. It's called Jezbe. And do you recognize this guy? Yes, you're totally right. Inside the bazaar, there is a South Bay restaurant. And this one, it's literally six times cheaper than the one in London. Because if you get the giant Tom Walk steak, here it is 230 quid, whereas in London it is 1000. 400. And let me tell you more or less what can you find at the Grand Bazaar because this place it is really huge and also quite overwhelming in the beginning. But if you're looking to buy some gold or silver this is the best place for you because they have all different types and if you can and if you have good bargain skills you can definitely get a very low price. But if you don't, then most probably they will try to scam you. And yes, this is what happened to me as well in the very beginning. But I will tell you more about it in a bit. And if you're on the hunt for a fake replica of a designer bag or really any sort of fake clothing, I'm sure you can find it at the Grand Bazaar. I don't really recommend you doing that because it's actually illegal in some countries. But you know, if it's your real cup of tea, you can definitely do this. Let me tell you the biggest mistake which I did. I really wanted some Turkish delight so I went into the first store that I saw. They were treating me really nice. They got me some tea. I was trying so much Turkish delight and I was loving this. But let me tell you that they charged me 500 Turkish lira which is basically like 25 euros for a kilo of Turkish delight which is quite a lot. I tried bargaining it and lowering the price but it really didn't work. By the way, a good tip to get a good price is to ask how much it is yeah. and after that you say no, that's too much, then you walk away and I found then one they will give you... Basically we're trying to look for like the cheapest sort of like lukum. Yeah, the would, Turkish but delight. But they, they, they just show numbers, you know, like 500 or 400. This one is 250. Per kilo. Per, per kilo, yeah. It, it really depends on what type of deal you make with the person. Okay. And I think having a camera doesn't really help me getting the lower price. And one of the first things which they will ask you is where you're from. But not because they really care, but because they want to calculate more or less how much they can charge you for this product. So maybe try not answering or give like a very vague answer. Or if you're up for it, just straight apply and say you're from a poorer country because they will definitely give you a lower price. And if you trust yourself and also the guys at the airport, you can also buy some beautiful ceramics with these traditional Ottoman designs. I just realized I got really, really scammed with the first Turkish delight that I bought. I bought it for like 500 liters for one kilo and they just offered it to us for 250. So the, the same, same thing. So never take the first price. Then we went to the Spice Bazaar, which is extremely close to the Grand Bazaar. And it is also called the Egyptian Bazaar. Oh my god, how many times did I say bazaar in the last 10 seconds? Anyways, this plate, is, it is really, really similar. The biggest difference I would say is that this one, it is open on Sunday and the Grand Bazaar, it's not. But don't expect that they sell only spices <laughs> just like I did because you can find anything like nuts, honeycombs, Turkish delight, dried fruit, caviar or any other sort of Turkish food. 
and I think it goes without saying that you can find any sort of spice that your mind can imagine, it is there, I swear. And don't you worry about bringing it back home because they have one of these special vacuum machines and they immediately pack it for you. And for someone who doesn't understand much about spices, this was enough for me from the spice market. But in the meantime, we definitely got hungry and needed some typical Turkish baklava. And my three hour research about baklava in Istanbul showed that one of the best ones, it is in this place called Hasif Mustafa. So this is the first place where we went to. What are you having here? <laughs> Mm. So this is baklava with pistachio. We also got different types with walnuts and chocolate, but look at all these layers. And what is that? Glue. Oh, come on. I don't know. He told me it's like sauce. He said sauce. We also got some Turkish coffee, which comes with this Turkish delight. So they told me that the best way to eat it, it is actually upside down. So the most sugary part touches your house of food. According to this image, the correct word it is palate, but basically the whole idea it is that you feel more of the sugary syrup and not so much of the crunchy part on the top. Hope you enjoyed this video from Istanbul and if you want to see more content from Turkey, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Love you all! Bye!